In our last video, we talked just a little bit about broadcast traffic on an Ethernet network. And there are a few special types of traffic that we refer to in general as BUM traffic. BUM stands for Broadcast, Unknown Unicast, and Multicast. So let's break down these three types of traffic in an Ethernet network. So again, here we see our four computers connected to our Ethernet switch. And you'll notice that the switch knows about all of the MAC addresses of those computers. It's got its MAC table. And let's again say that computer one wants to communicate with computer two. Well, the MAC address isn't the only address involved in this communication. So here you can see now I have indicated each computer has an IP address. An IP address is an address that we allocate and that we assign to these individual computers. So it's not like a MAC address. A MAC address is hard coded and associated with the physical network interface, the network interface card. Versus an IP address, that's something that we control and that we assign to these machines. I almost think of an IP address as like a phone number. It's unique. There are no two computers on this network with the same IP address. And if you think about phone numbers, if two people had the same phone number, well, when you dial that phone number, who would get that call? It doesn't work. And we can't have IP address conflicts either. So if we want our network to work, every single computer needs a unique IP address. And that's the address that computer programs use to talk to each other. So for example, let's say that computer one needs to send a file. It's trying to transmit a file and establish a connection to computer two. So computer two is going to be the destination. Well, in order to establish that connection, computer one needs to know the IP address of computer two. And let's just assume that it does. So let's assume that computer one knows the destination IP, but it does not know the destination Mac. Well, in that case, we have a problem because computers in a local area network communicate using MAC addresses. They have to know each other's MAC address in order to communicate. And so the result of this is going to be computer one is going to generate a request. It's going to send out what we call an ARP request to the switch. And the ARP request is a broadcast. And so an ARP request is generated by the source computer and it is a layer two ethernet broadcast used to discover the MAC address associated with a particular IP. So essentially computer one is sending out a layer two broadcast, which hits the switch and the layer two broadcast basically says something like this. I need to send a frame, an ethernet frame to the computer that owns IP two. Who is it? Please tell me your MAC address. And because it's a broadcast, it is flooded out every single port on the switch. And so computer three receives it and it sees this ARP request and it says, well, somebody's looking for the owner of IP address two. That's not me. Same thing with computer four. It says, I do not own IP two, but it's also repeated out this port as well. And this computer says, oh, somebody's looking for IP address two. That's me. Let me send an ARP response to the requester. And so that ARP response is then received by computer one and computer one can now update the internal ARP table for computer one. And so the ARP table of the computer, and I'll show you my ARP table in just a moment on my computer, but the ARP table is basically a table full of these associations. It's saying, hey, if I need to go to IP address two, I send the ethernet frame to MAC address two. So it's tracking which IPs are associated with which MAC addresses. And so now that it's discovered the destination MAC address that it needs, it can send out a layer two unicast, which will hit the switch destined for MAC two and the switch will look at its MAC table and it'll say, oh, for MAC2, I forwarded out this port. And now the two devices can communicate. That's an example of a broadcast. 
So on my computer, I can go to the command prompt and I can type in ARP space dash A and it will display the ARP table for my computer. And you can see here basically all it's doing is it's showing me IP addresses and the MAC addresses associated with them. So each device on my network has a MAC address associated with every single physical adapter and they also each have an IP address. That's the purpose of the ARP table. And by the way, this ARP space A command can also be used in Linux or on a Mac. So a layer two broadcast is basically any ethernet frame that is sent to the switch that is sent to a specific address called the broadcast address. And that broadcast address informs the switch that it needs to be flooded out every single port. That's a broadcast and an ARP request is a great example of a broadcast. Now let's change up our diagram a little bit here and let's break down what an unknown unicast is. So here you can see I now have two switches and two computers are connected to one switch, two computers are connected to the other switch. And in the middle, I have what we call an inter-switch link. You can do this with switches. Sometimes it's called daisy chaining, but basically you can connect multiple switches together and have them act like one big switch. And so in this case, it's possible that let's say computer one sends an ethernet frame that is destined for Mac address three. And the ethernet frame arrives at this switch and this switch says Mac address three. I don't know about that one. I don't have it in my Mac table. I don't know where to send it. This is what we call an unknown unicast where the switch port doesn't know which port a MAC address is on. So it's got this frame for a certain destination MAC, but it doesn't know where to send it. Well, in the case of an unknown unicast, the switch will respond by saying, I don't know where MAC 3 is. Let me flood this out every single port, including sending it to the other switch. And so what the switch is attempting to do here is to discover which port is MAC address three reachable through? And when a response comes back, here comes the response from this computer and the response eventually arrives at this switch. The switch will say, oh, okay, I see MAC three. I see the return traffic coming through a certain port. I will update my MAC address table to now reflect that that MAC is reachable through that port. That's what we call an unknown unicast. And that's how a switch discovers which computers are connected to which port. And essentially the unknown unicast is resulting in basically a broadcast, right? So this is one of those special types of traffic where there's one source, but the resulting traffic is delivered out many ports. And so what all these different types of bum traffic have in common is they are multi-destination. A frame is generated and it's delivered to multiple destinations. And multicast is just another example of that type of multi-destination traffic. Where basically, let's say that computer one is generating some traffic that needs to be received by computers four and two, but not computer three. Well, that's a multicast. So the traffic is sent to a certain address that belongs to a multicast group that exists in the switch. And the switch knows which ports are members of this particular group. And based on that, it will forward that traffic out those particular ports, but it will not forward it out any other ports that are not part of that group. I kind of think of it like a pay-per-view. So if you buy an event on a pay-per-view, it is delivered to only the television sets that have subscribed to that pay-per-view. Well, that's kind of like a multicast group. There are specific members and the source frame only has to be generated once. It hits the switch and the switch handles forwarding it to all the members. Let's take a few moments to just do a quick review of some of the key concepts that we've just learned. Now, we learned that each machine is going to have a unique IP address 
the IP address we think of as a layer three network address. So every machine connected to a network will have a unique IP address. We learned what ARP requests are. These are layer two broadcasts. And anytime a broadcast is sent out on a layer two ethernet segment, it will be received by every single machine on that layer two ethernet segment. So an ARP request is a broadcast and an ARP request specifically is an attempt to learn the destination Mac of some other machine. We then have an unknown unicast. So we can connect multiple switches to one another and create a large layer two network. If one of these switches doesn't know how to get traffic to a certain Mac address, it will issue an unknown unicast, which will generate a broadcast out every port on that layer two segment to find that destination Mac and map it to a certain port. And then finally, we have multicast traffic, our third type of multi-destination traffic, where a single source is sending some sort of traffic out to a specified group of recipients. These three types of multi-destination traffic make up bum traffic, broadcast, unknown unicast, and multicast.